Namaste and welcome. My name is Cristina and my spiritual name is Marici. You may call me as you wish. I'm honored to be your guide throughout this beautiful journey of self-discovery. In the yogic tradition, the subtle body represents the energetic component of the human body that underlies and interacts with the physical body. It is composed of various channels, centers and points of energy, often referred to as nadis, chakras and marmas. These channels carry vital energy which flows through the body and animates it. Don't worry, it's not magic I'm talking about. Energy is real and as you know, yoga is a great way to learn how to deal with it. The subtle body is connected to body, mind and spirit and it is believed that physical and emotional issues are always linked to imbalances or blockages in the subtle body. Chakras are energy centers which correspond to bundles of nerves, major organs and areas of our physical body. Sometimes it is not easy to visualize and understand this concept. So to make it simple, I'll ask you to think of the body as a map. Just as a map represents the organization and connectivity of different regions, the human body shows intricate systems that work together to maintain its functionality and well-being. On a map, you may usually spot a number of roads which have different lengths and size. Likewise, in the body, we have multiple channels going in all directions, linking different points. Think of our impressive nervous system or the whole blood circulation system. On a subtle level, these channels are called nadis. On a map, you also see towns and cities, and that's where the main roads lead to. Now, in the body, towns and cities are our energy centers, the chakras, which on a physical level correspond to the space of our main organs and glands. This map of chakras and nadis makes up the subtle body, which, as you have seen, is well intertwined with organs, glands, muscles and tissues. But why should we be interested in chakras? Chakras represent a great tool towards our physical and emotional well-being. Most of the time when we feel stuck emotionally and physically, because the two usually go hand in hand, it is because there is some sort of imbalance. By working on our subtle body, we are able to unleash our energy and regain health and stability in both body and mind. In this course, we are going to learn about the primary seven chakras, according to the modern chakra system, which are located along the spine from the base to the top of the head. In each lesson, we'll explore a specific chakra through the most powerful yogic tools like asana, pranayama, mantra and meditation. By practicing on the chakras, we'll be able to identify different types of energy and use this energy towards self-healing. In the subtle anatomy, the seven chakras are pinned at different levels of shushumna, the channel that connects base and crown, basically corresponding with our spine. At the base of the spine lies coiled Kundalini, a feminine life force energy. Through the practice of yoga, we can awaken this energy and once it can smoothly flow through the chakras, we are able to feel deeply connected with the self, live to the fullest and pursue our highest goals. Learning about chakras is quite fascinating. Each chakra has a different color, element and bija mantra, which we can use to create a deeper connection with its energy. I warmly suggest practicing the lessons in the order provided, since the course is designed to offer tools and knowledge to gradually tune in with your energy and embrace the chakra power. 
So let's briefly see where the chakras are located. The first is Muladhar, the root chakra. It is located at the base of the spine, including the hips and the pelvic floor area. The second chakra is Swadhisthan, the center of creativity. It is right below your navel and it is linked to reproductive organs. The third is Manipur, the center of fire. Located in your solar plexus, it is connected with the digestive system, the fire of transformation. The fourth is Anahat, the center of love and gratitude. Located in the chest, it is your heart center. The fifth chakra is Vishud, the center of communication. It is located in the throat. Sixth chakra is Agya, also known as third eye. Located between your eyebrows, it is the center of intuition and clarity. The seventh chakra is Sazrar, usually depicted as a lotus flower with a thousand petals. Located in your crown, this chakra is, in, is the center of spirituality and connection with the divine. By opening it, we are able to reach the highest state of bliss. So, in order to visualize the chakras in the body, we are going to use Brahmari to bring awareness to each one of them. In this short practice, we are going to do seven Brahmari, one for each chakra. So, slowly close your eyes, finding comfort in your seated position. You may sit with your legs crossed or simply on a chair, keeping your spine straight, shoulder relaxed. hands on your knees, you can use chin mudra if you feel comfortable with it. Take a deep inhalation, long exhalation. Breathing in to Muladhar at the base of your spine. Mm. Breathing in to Swadhisthan right below your navel. Mm. Breathing in to Manipur, your solar plexus. Mm. Breathing in to Anna Heart, your heart center. Mm. Breathing in to Vishud, your throat chakra. Mm. Breathing in to Akya, your third eye between your eyebrows. Mm. 
breathing in to Sasra, your crown. Slowly bring the palms to your chest and we'll close with one Om and three Shanti. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste.